EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Greg Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. Taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Murray going to fire one out wide. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 83 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. The kick is first play from scrimmage all the way into the end zone. It, look, the pass was good, but that run after the catch, that's what was really impressive. And I think the big question I have is where were the safeties? Where was the tackling? Because going into this game, they had to know that they were going to be tested. That was a part of the defense that had to stand up. And on that play, not even close. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That thing blown up by the defensive effort of Chandler Jones. Throwing on second and 14. Prescott. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. play with Drake and he doesn't quite make it taking it with it an eyelash dropped at the one 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14. Cowboys nothing. Zane Gonzalez. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25 yard line. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. 45-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try to throw now. Prescott letting one fly deep for... It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. It's a gain of 35. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's Pollard. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Jordan Hicks brought it down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Fourteen. Cowboys nothing. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Prescott to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody. And that led to an incompletion. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. The kick and he puts it through. Makes the score Cardinals 14, Cowboys 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. First down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Drake. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Van Der Esch on the tackle. One yard gain. 
Great on defense. second and nine. Murray going deep for Hopkins. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the earth. There he goes, Amari Cooper. Pass the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, 75 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cardinals take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. On second down, it's Drake. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. The ball carrier. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. On third and short, Drake. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The tackle made so from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. On second down, it's Drake. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Drake on the handoff. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of four. On third down, Drake. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. At the Cowboys. Throwing again on second down. Murray going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And that is incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. 
Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of four. It's now second and to throw on second and six. Prescott, and he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. There's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. It's a keeper with Prescott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dick Prescott as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now Zerline on and the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That ties the game at 21 apiece. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down, and it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw, I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops, and if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. From the 30 on second down, Murray. He's gonna launch this thing way downfield. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Murray's pass intercepted. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. St. Gonzalez to kick off for him. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, 
change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. From the 29, Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Prescott from the gun. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. First down, Cardinal. On first and 10, here's Murray. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Sean Lee, the longtime vet, getting in and getting to the QB. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. A good positive play there, nine yards, but still third and long. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. There for the sack, Everson Griffin. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Javon Kennard on the tackle. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and three. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. A gain of three. It's fourth down. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. A first down carry by Elliott. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. A 23-yard run. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Back now in Arlington, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Zerline out now to kick this one away. 
This taken in about four yards deep. Shattuck to the defense. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. At their own 21-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Murray again, second and ten. It's complete. It's Fitzgerald. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And Murray now on first down. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense. And this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys turn that interception into a touchdown. And he'll bang that one through. Makes the score, Cowboys 38. Cardinals. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Cardinals take over first and 10. At their own Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. 57 to Get in the Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's complete to Drake. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First down, Arizona. First down, Murray, eluding the pressure right. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. The end result, 21 yards. Here's Murray from midfield. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. The kick is good. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. The Cardinals take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because their confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? 57. 
Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Nine-yard line. From the gun, Murray completes it to Fitzgerald. Seven yards there at a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, out of the gun, here's Murray. He's going to let it fly. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. now on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. First Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Throwing here, Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And Prescott, his third interception. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. I tell you, you know how press conferences when you sign guys like this. But he's been a real difference maker so far. That's now two interceptions for him in the game. And when you're getting contributions up and down your 53-man roster, you're going to be all right. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. He's going to let it fly. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows and just won't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Flushed out right, and he's going to keep it here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Intended for D. Here's second and ten. Incomplete. Aha, Clinton Dix on the coverage. To throw again. Murray. Flush to his right. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.